Hey guys, we're going to solve a little problem a lot of people have, and it's uh, the gasket that goes around the doghouse on these old vans. They don't make this gasket specifically, but you can always source something else, and we'll show you what we're going to do next on the Hoosier Garage. Alright, so like I said, I'm always seeing questions on some of the forums on, hey, do they make the uh, doghouse gasket? And usually the answer is no. I've noticed on this one when the doghouse is latched in to this one particularly that it has a very slight gap around it it's a very precise gap it's not like it gets really wide in places now that could vary from year to year so make sure you check yours first so I was kind of contemplating on what I could do with that and what kind of gasket I could use so here is what I'm going to go with right here and we've got a big roll of it you can see the profile here. Well, what this is, is pretty much a standard profile of a Mopar trunk lid gasket from the late 60s, or early 70s. This one specifically is for a Plymouth duster. The reason I got the duster is I have a duster and I wanted to go ahead and buy this. It was about 26 to $30. I think I paid about 27 for this one. That's usually the range they fall in now. And I thought, well, if it doesn't happen to look like it fit at all, it would be way off. I have a duster and I can just put it, mothball it, and I'll have it for that one. But for the price you're paying for it, I thought, well, it's worth giving a try. And uh, so far, the width is like perfect on it. The rail that goes around here, it's kind of recessed here and it's pronounced here. But if you look, very little play in there. So my thinking, is you can go all the way around here one full revolution with this stuff. I'll probably have some left over since it was originally designed for a trunk lid and that's much wider space than this. So I'm gonna go through, uh, you can use some old soapy water or wax and tar remover. I'm gonna just use a little bit of lacquer thinner and wipe this up real quick, clean it off. And then it'll be as simple as getting us some weather strip glue and gluing this on. <laughs> Okay, so what I've got here is 3M super black weather strip and gasket adhesive. Works good on pretty much anything. It's got this soft rubber seal and you need to mate it to a metal surface. So I'm going to put a nice bead all the way around here. It'll be as simple as laying this out. You still want to do it carefully, make sure it's clean, all that good stuff. And we'll go on to there. saw me put some tape on here that's to help kind of control mainly around the corners or where it's wanting to pull up on it just kind of a natural thing I'm pulling it up don't leave the tape on there too long or else it'll pull the the uh, skin off of the weather strip or if you have a tape that's really too uh, too sticky so there it is in place and 
and uh, we're good up there. The glue has set, the weather strip adhesive has set, and we are pretty good. So here in a bit, I'll go ahead and put it on back on the in the place. You know, you know the drill. All right, so it's the next day. The seal has set up really good. Just a good precaution. Just give it a full 24 hours to solidify that adhesive. Wipe it off here a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and put our doghouse on it. These dog houses are a little tricky to put on. I always make sure the passenger seat at least is all the way back. And then you gotta gotta work it on in this angle here. And you still might not get it. If that don't work, which sometimes it doesn't, flip it back the other direction like so. All the way down. And then you can kind of hinge it forward like that. Work best that time. Next thing you want to do is center it up. Now we got this crack on here. I need to, I really need to restore this entire doghouse. Put new insulation on the inside, and there's a, it's actually busted all the way up to here. So that needs to be repaired, and it's kind of giving me a little bit of trouble putting it on. We'll just center it up on there good. Make sure it's on top here. Now since that has a little bit of a flap to it, this trunk seal, as it was originally, you want to make sure it's not curled in or bound up by the doghouse lint. So I'm just going to make sure, particularly this first time, I'm just really letting it set on here. Make sure it's good. Clamp this side down. Clip it in. I can see a little bit of the gasket all the way around. Make sure we get the same result over here. It will flex around a little bit like that. We'll go to the other side and latch it. And you know, normally you don't put this much effort into one of these, but we want to leave a good first impression. Pretty tight. You hear that good slap to it there. We're good. Now some of y'all got one down here. You want to make sure that's latched or even on the sides or even on these corners. Just depends on the model doghouse cover we got a good seal on it nice and tight and I think we can go forward we'll have to address the restoration on this very soon that crack because that's just as bad as not having a seal in there so gonna put our drink tray that we made back in here and you can see a video on that I'll link it up here in the corner and I even found these vintage coasters from probably the late 70s got them from my grandmother and maybe cool to sit there we can maybe put a little Temporary adhesive on there. Give it that vintage vibe. So thanks for checking us out here at Hoosier Garage. Make sure you come back. It'd be good to see you all again.